welcome back in our pre previous sessions we were uh, uh, rather we saw the various investment options available to an uh, investor and the products which an uh, advisor can basically uh, advise to the investors in order to achieve his goals now one of the uh, most complicated product i should say is uh, equities now what is a equity equity is nothing else but a share holding uh, in a company and each shareholder in turn is a uh, say partial owner uh, to the extent he is holding the uh, number of shares so uh, basically there are two ways to analyze equity now when i talk about equity over here the two ways are fundamental analysis fundamental and the technical analysis part technical analysis now, what is the difference between both when you come to fundamental analysis you start analyzing about various uh, kind of uh, say uh, 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 numbers you start going into details of the company performance and then you try to find out whether all these ratios are in favor uh, in favor in order to find out whether the company is overvalued or undervalued now for example if i take if i take a company like reliance which is uh, almost 3 lakh uh, Three lakh crores market cap in India. I'll, I will again repeat. It is almost three lakh crores. Three lakh crores. So, when analyzing con company like Reliance, you will find that it has many, many uh, uh, say uh, uh, wells, oil wells. It has businesses across the world. They are now into retail. Uh, various businesses which are so complicated to analyze. that it is going to be very very difficult for a uh, lay man, lay investor to actually find out whether it is valued undervalued overvalued or whatever it is now uh, the other part is the technical i was talking to you about technical analysis which basically is uh, a chart in fact uh, in our previous sessions we were talking i, I was uh, showing you few charts for example this chart and if you remember uh, we were speaking of i showed you a chart on uh, Uh, pyramid samira theaters and uh, one more company called uh, ttk prestige so a person what he does is he goes by the chart and find out uh, uh, finds out whether the price is an uptrend or a downtrend this is purely technical based on previous history now the history might repeat that is the expectation everybody has but it is not necessary so by the time you analyze a company fundamentally and come to an conclusion that uh, say reliance should be rupees 1000 i'm not recommending reliance over here just an example uh, say reliance is uh, valued at 1000 market is supreme market moves faster than what we think and hence you might take next 6 uh, months to 1 year to analyze reliance and by then reliance would have already moved to 1500 so this is what typically happens in fundamental analysis unless and otherwise you are really very quick you will find that you have lost the um, rather miss the bus in technical uh, basically short term traders use it and short term investors who go by the trend itself and hence if the if the stock is falling down so what they do is i'll just explain you in uh, uh, maybe in a small manner now say if a chart is going like this it comes down over here goes up again comes down again goes up little higher and again is coming down and this time it breaks and tries to go up and from here it falls now what do i analyze by this chart what i'm trying to find out is see the stock has an support level at around this level that is it could be say rupees 100 and the stock always tries to go at to a high of say 120 and then starts going down so this one time it happened it goes to 120 and starts falling here what will i do is i will try to buy in this place with an assumption that if it is going to break 100 rupees i will be ready to sell that is called your stop loss now uh, my expectation goes right i buy at around 100 rupees and as expected the stock goes up now from the previous history i know that 120 is the 
uh, resistance and hence this uh, point should be my selling point. So what I do when it comes here, I try to sell it out and uh, what happens again, the stock comes down. This time I will again try to buy over here naturally because I have already made money once and uh, I would like to make money second time also. But after buying at 100, it breaks the line and goes below 100. So maybe at 99 or 98, I will be booking my loss and coming. What it means, if I don't book, the stock might come to 80 levels. If I book, I am a bit safer. So this is your uh, technical analysis. But fundamental analysis is, uh, uh, is much more uh, complicated and hence uh, it is not easy. It is not easy. There is a meaning. So coming to fundamental analysis over here, what are the few ratios what we, uh, which we try to analyze while uh, doing our analysis? Now first one is the book value. What is book value? Book value is nothing else but a say you start a company by investing rupees 1 lakh. I think 1 lakh, uh, 3, 4, 5, yeah, it is 1 lakh. Now, each share might be face value of rupees 10. So, which means if you, uh, if you are going to uh, divide your 10,000, uh, say each share is going to be 10 rupees, which means you are going to issue 10,000 shares. So, this is the correct one. So, starting price is your 10 rupees. Yeah, I will repeat. 10,000 is the initial investment. You create 10,000 shares, each share worth 10 rupees. Which means, if you are going to sell out your company today, you are going to get rupees 10,000 shares into the value today. That is this one. Now, what happens next is you start your business. Maybe two years, three years down the line, you find that you have created various kind of assets and you have created various kind of liabilities. Now, uh, assets in the sense, I bought, uh, uh, say, I have creditors have to pay me. I bought a car out of one lakh after making profit. I have done uh, various other activities. I bought furniture, I bought systems and uh, various other things. Same way, I will also be creating some kind of uh, liabilities. I might have to pay to my suppliers. I might have uh, other liabilities also. Now, the actual value, that is net worth, Net worth, I should say, of the company is nothing else but all assets minus all liabilities. Now, in this case, assume that all assets are uh, maybe 1 lakh you started 2-3 years down the line. Say all assets are rupees 3 lakhs. Uh, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Uh, rupees 3 lakhs and all liabilities are maybe say 1 lakh totally which you have to pay. Now, going by the formula, all assets minus all liabilities which means 3 lakhs minus 1 lakh, 2 lakh is going to be my total net worth. Now, this total net worth divided by, so I should put an equal to mark over here and say divided by how many shares I have. I have total number of 10,000 shares created while creating the company. And I hit enter. The book value is rupees 20 today. So, uh, idea is if you are selling out the company totally, how much money are you going to get? So this becomes your book value. I hope you are uh, uh, clear with this. Now EPS. Now EPS is something uh, before buying a share, every analyst is going to look out on how much profit is the company making on every share. Now in this problem, we have seen next two, three years, I have not defined the uh, number of years. But say it is 3 years, last 3 years it has made 10 rupees earnings and that is the reason uh, profit is, say book value is today 20 rupees. Now after I still continue to have 10,000 rupees and the company is able to make 10, 1 lakh rupees every year. So 1 lakh your book value will be, not the book value, we are talking about EPS. What we are going to see is EPS. Now what is EPS? EPS is nothing else but your, it is, uh, the expansion is earnings per share. Now, what is earnings per share? A company is having 10,000 rupees, uh, say 10,000 shares in the company and is going to earn 